Hey, what's up guys? This is Tripwire and today I'm going to be bringing you some one in the chamber strategies. Um, not a great way to start it, but <laughs> with a death. But I'm going to be uh, presenting you guys with three different one in the chamber games here. Um, they were all kind of back to back, like in the same um, uh, grouping of, of games that I was playing. And uh, I won all three of them. And uh, the maps are going to be Nuketown, Launch, and then another one on Nuketown. So I'm going to kind of try to help you guys out so you could bank more COD points. And um, since One of the Chamber is a very quick game and uh, it goes by so quick that you could lose or win your COD points uh, a lot quicker than any other kind of wager match modes. And uh, especially if you're going to do something like High Roller, you want to be uh, prepared to um, uh, for all game modes since you don't really get to uh, pick which one you want. So in this case, um, my the way I kind of play one in the chamber is to be very aggressive and take a big lead as quickly as you can because it's very hard to catch up on, on someone when they have a lot of kills at the beginning of the game. Since there won't be many lives left out there, since you only have three lives, if you're the one to get those first kills, uh, there won't be many left for anyone else to get, especially when you're dead. So even if you die three times very quick, but you've built up a bunch of kills, um, you could be pretty sure that you'll pick up the win anyways, even if you have to watch the last uh, uh, the last few kills from someone else. And um, what I've noticed a lot in one of the chamber, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know that, is people like to camp. They like to sit in their corners and wait for people to come by, since they only have one bullet and they're not confident enough to take their shots. Um, that's one thing I want to mention too, is the second you see a guy, line up your gun as quickly as you can and have confidence in yourself to take the shot. Uh, shoot it before he gets a chance to shoot it. And if you miss your bullet, be very aggressive if he still has his and do the zigzag technique. Go back left and right and uh, try to throw him off so that he can't hit you as easily. And um, Another thing you want to do is uh, try to learn the spawns. As you see right there, I picked up four kills in the first 20 seconds or so of the game. And that put me out to a big enough lead that I was pretty much able to win the game like that. It takes some time to get used to them, but if you could get the spawns um, under control and you could figure out where people are going to be spawning, you could kind of attack there and anticipate where they're going to come from. And uh, as you see here, I tried to zigzag because I had no bullet, but he still was able to pick me off. And um, that's kind of the thing. You don't want to camp in one of the chamber because the chance of someone coming next to you is uh, very small. And you might only get one or two kills or so if you're lucky. And um, if everyone's camping, the game's never going to end and you're going to be here forever. This way you catch people off guard and when you kill them early, they won't have a chance to go back to their hiding spot. And, uh, yeah, this at the end was kind of stupid, like, he's just running away because we both were out of bullets. And, um, I tried to play the aggressor and I was just waiting to see what the heck he was doing. And I wanted to be, you know, try to get that kill, so I was trying to be aggressive. And, in the end, even though he did kill me, um, I had enough points that, even if he, though he killed me, he wasn't able to, uh, finish in first place. So that's always a good thing when you get a big lead is um, you're almost guaranteed to win if you could get the kills uh, early on. And um, another thing to do is, especially when you see two players that are looking at each other trying to kill each other, uh, just try to shoot into the crowd and hopefully pick off one, or if you're very lucky, even two. Or if you could be kind of sneaky about it and like knife one out of nowhere, that always helps and then you get your extra bullet. Well, I don't advise trying to stockpile bullets. I think I usually do well with just one bullet and being uh, confident that I could actually uh, pick it up, pick off the guy in one shot. Um, that's the way I play. Some people prefer to knife, especially if you could sneak up a guy and he doesn't know you're he, that you're there, and if he's camping or something. Uh, by all means, take the knife just to get the extra bullet. And uh, as you can see here, I'm a little bit over aggressive on my. Uh, on my bullets and it cost me as I die here but um, yeah I mean it's it's definitely a, a different uh, wager match compared to everything else as you can see here I'm always on the move I'm never standing still it's always good especially when you kill someone get to the next uh, position so you don't want people to know where you are 
So that's pretty much going to do it here, going for the trick shot, which I missed. Luckily, I have another bullet, which he doesn't know about. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to please leave a rating, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know if you want me to do more wager match strategy videos. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.